Welcome to the Digital Paperflow Eclipse integration training video. If you are looking for digital signatures, this is the solution. Well, at least until the full release of our new amazing software, Digital Paperflow. This application will allow you to run a completely paperless production accounting office. In this video, we are going to show you how to start using some of the features of DPF now. Digital paper flow can be used to acquire digital signatures for purchase orders, invoices, expenses, and whatever other documents tickle your fancy. Oh, and the best part, this all integrates directly with Eclipse. This is only a sneak peek into our new software. The full release of DPF and all its glorious features is not expected to be until early 2021. First, let's enter an example of an invoice. Open accounts payable. Invoice check entry and insert a new batch and invoice like usual. Now, before entering the invoice details, click the Attachments tab and click the Select File button. Find and select the invoice which you have already saved onto your computer, then click Open. The invoice has now been attached. Then enter the invoice as usual drawing down any relevant purchase orders like normal. Once the invoice has been entered, click OK to save the invoice. Now you will return to the unposted invoice list window. Highlight and right-click on the invoice and select Send to DPF. Then click the Start button. Note that you can highlight and send multiple invoices at once. In this example, we are just sending one invoice for demonstration purposes. If you receive an error message at this stage, it means that you have not been enabled to use this feature. Send TPH support an email and we will turn on the magic for you. You will notice that the invoice has now disappeared from your batch window. No fear, it has just been moved to a new batch called DPF Draft Invoices. This is where all the draft invoices sent to DPF will sit. Once the invoice is sent for approval, it will go to the DPF Pending Invoices batch, and then once fully approved, it will be moved to the DPF Approved Invoices batch, waiting to be posted. Now go to the Digital Paperflow website and log in. Psst, your DPF login is the same as your EasyPO login. Click on the Draft Invoices section, where you will find the invoice you just sent. If the invoice has multiple pages, you can scroll down and flip through the pages. A PO is also attached and can be found using the Document Flicker button. From here, you can click Edit and change any of the details of the invoice, including the approval group. You can then send the invoice for approval by clicking the Send button. The invoice has now moved to the Pending Orders section. You can now see that the invoice is sitting with the first approver, T. Lannister. The approver has now received an email stating that there is an invoice awaiting their approval. The approver will only get one notification email every hour for up to 10 orders that will need their approval. So don't worry if you are sending lots of invoices, DPF will not spam the approver's inbox. These default settings can always be changed. Let support know if you would like to make amendments to the frequency of notification emails. Let's log in as the approver to demonstrate approving an invoice. The approver can click on the Approve Invoices section and select the invoice they wish to view. Again, they can view multiple page invoices and flip through attached purchase orders and documents. The system also generates an input report for every invoice where they can see the breakdown of coding and purchase order drawdowns. The approver can use the edit button to amend the transaction line descriptions, chart codes or flags if necessary. Once the approver is ready, they can approve the invoice by clicking the approve button. This approver was the only approver, so the invoice has moved to the Approved Invoices section and displays the digital signature and approval timestamp. Once the invoice is fully approved, it will appear in the DPF Approved batch and the approved document will be attached. 
From there, you can run your reports and post as normal. Next, let's show an example of sending an expense form for approval. In Eclipse, go to Petty Cash Entry. I have already entered an expense form in this open batch. Like before, let's add the PDF of the expense form using the Attachments tab. The HMRC no longer requires the Accounts Office to retain the original receipts. Scanned copies are allowed. Therefore, I can use Eclipse to store the receipts versus retaining the originals. Thus, I have included the scanned receipts with my PDF attachment. Click OK to save the changes. And then again, like before, highlight the Expense Claim form, right-click and select Send to DPF. Open the DPF website and select the Expenses Draft section. Note that some documents can take longer to load in DPF depending on the file size. Once it loads, you can see that all the pages are attached using the page flicker. You can use the Edit button to amend the approval group if necessary. Then once you are ready, click Send to send the expense to the first approver. Once it has been sent, it will appear in the Pending Orders section. Lastly, I am going to show you how to send other documents for approval. This could be bank recs, cost reports, hot costs, travel authorizations, etc. In DPF, navigate to the Documents Draft section. Click the New button and then enter the document details. Select the Approver group, enter a description, and then upload the PDF. Click Save, and then Send for approval. The approved document will be stored in DPF. That's it for this video. Again, this is only a small preview to the new Digital Paperflow website and its capabilities. Stay tuned for the full release of DPF. If you have any questions or feedback, let us know.